lesson planning is a tool to achieve an end result. If it becomes overly onerous, it is actually no longer a tool, it's just something that exhausts the poor teacher. At Lentry School in Slough, today's early years pupils are tackling odds and evens in numeracy. So, I've got my sunflower here, and I think I'm going to start with an odd number. For this numeracy session, I really wanted to try and get to grips with the odd and even numbers, linking back to counting in twos, which we've been doing in class. And my odd number is a white odd number. And I'm going to start with number one. And then really trying to get um, the children to notice that there's a pattern between the odd and even numbers when we write them in order. One's white and two's yellow and three's white. Wowee! That is brilliant! Lentrise plans meticulously for differentiation, but how is this achieved in numeracy compared to other subjects? When I'm planning for a whole class numeracy session, I'm thinking about the differentiation of groups. I actually find it easier to think about my, my groups and the structure and how I can challenge the more able and how I can support the less able because it is very clearly defined. Numeracy and literacy planning takes place online and focuses on six different ability levels. We would differentiate six different ways in any particular lesson because we set and we have three sets which look at these children's needs and three sets which perhaps look at challenging the more able children. So we are differentiating six different ways. Now, who can put their hand up and guess what we might be doing today? Counting in two. Good girl. I plan to have the whole class on the carpet for the beginning of the session and I plan to use a programme where you can colour and number the squares on the screen. Two and move the numbers around in sequence very easily and the children are used to this. To so to try and order and notice patterns in the numbers, mm -hmm. counting in twos. See if we can remember our odd and even numbers. Oh, now we're starting at number one and number one is an odd, odd number. Good, so we've got number one is an odd number. Oh, the next odd number is number three. three. I plan to move the children to their tables to do a, a practical sorting and arranging the odd and even numbers around their sunflower plates. It has to have a down No, it doesn't. And then a group are going to have a go on our interactive table where we can write odd and even numbers. Purple, green. Trying to choose colours so that they can find the pattern for themselves. Green. Green. Good. So can we have an even number there, please? Zero. Black. And I hope to bring them back to the carpet and play a bit of a fun game with the children and their bodies up and down and numbers to ten. No! Now, people over there, your special job now <laughs> is to tell us whether we've got an odd number or an even number. Ready? Yeah. Zach is an... Even. even. So just these people. Odd. odd. Even. Odd. So, was the lesson a success? The lesson went well. I think if I was going to change anything about the lesson is I would try and make it a little bit more practical in the lesson starter. The children perhaps needed to have a little bit similar to my plenary in the beginning session to get them a bit more actively involved in that. Teachers normally spend longer on things than they plan to or that they think that they have especially when you've got children sitting on a carpet. Yeah, that is a long time, so really keep it snappy. Have everything ready when planning for a numeracy session. Have the counters out if you're using counters. Cut out numbers if there's numbers going to be used so they've not got scissors and they've not got paper everywhere.